you know prince odinga you came to me telling me that uh, yes you can call me a snitch or something or what you want but uh, let me tell you this it's not good abandoning a family you ca- then you come to me telling me that i do a video saying that uh, uh saying that uh, saying uh, you you telling me that i do a video saying that you are not married you are married yes you are married if prince odinga has run out of lies okay everyone in his family is d-e-a-d now because he used up all his family names to get free money so now since he has run out of people to use he is now using himself (laughs) this is prince's new scam prince odinga he fooled those old ladies again. Raise your hands while I resurrect him from this situation. He paid me. He paid me. This video may contain content that are highly sensitive to some people. If you're highly sensitive, please exit a stage left. Please know that the people used in this video are not really mourning for real. Okay? So don't take it too seriously. Tonight we will cover Prince Odinga's resurrection, his wife's resurrection. Um, more people coming forward to say that they were scammed and his best friend out in him. Enjoy. <laughs> This is my resurrection outfit. My resurrection. Tonight we are doing resurrections, okay? We are resurrecting people in here tonight. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pebbles Hall. Thank you for coming back to see me. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and participate in the comment section. I love, love, love your comments. Oh my goodness, it's hot news on the street, and it's no sleep tonight. We are going to be on them. And you guys may ask, why is she on Prince Sodinga so much? Oh yes, I am on that guy because you know why that guy was after me so much reacting on me so much is because he probably wanted to scam me (laughs) that is why and plus i don't have my information on my channel so people really can't reach out to me i think if i did that guy would have reached out to me who knows but anyway word on the street is that prince odinga wife has resurrected and you guys may be wondering what the heck is pebbles wearing tonight what is she wearing i am at the revival service okay i am at the resurrection service of prince odinga's wife tonight yes we are resurrecting her and prince odinga goodness guy you are shameless shameless prince odinga (laughs) don't mind my resurrection outfit you guys are going to say oh you go to church like that listen pastors love to see bosom as long as i have my bible where is my bible (laughs) here it is as long as i have my bible it is okay it is okay all right (laughs) yes so this is my resurrection outfit it's a long white long caftan okay (laughs) actually it's my beach cover up but tonight i turn it into a resurrection outfit let me see if i can stand (laughs) there is my resurrection outfit i'm wearing my shorts underneath because it's very thin Yes, we're about to resurrect uh, Prince Odinga's wife tonight. So stay tuned. Continue to watch the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. (laughs) Anyway, let's get into it, guys. So apparently Prince Odinga's wife is not D-E-A-D. She is alive and well. And so is his beautiful, beautiful little girl. Oh my goodness, when I saw that picture of the little girl, you know, it saddens me because everyone deserves a father. Every child deserves to have a father. 
and a mother in their life and she is just there living without without a dad because he has abandoned his a family in the Yamahanse village and with Subo came with the story today I will leave the story here for you guys to see but before we get to that they have resurrected her she's just resurrected I'm, I'm gonna leave the video here for you guys to see how she was resurrected okay so enjoy the video are you normal are you normal I'm asking a donation and you are disturbing me here <laughs> <laughs> what is not happening with my wife The biggest scammer, not even a scammer, the biggest. How they call them? Uh, I added almost there yeah, because I activated donation, a lot of money that my wife is dead. And uh, the reality is that the wife is not dead. Uh, have you been married? <laughs> yes. Okay. Come close. With, uh, with who? With the Prince Odinga. With the Prince Odinga. Um, yes. Okay. First of all, thank God you are still alive. Eh? I'm still alive and thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't believe eh, that you are still, you are breathing. I'm breathing. There's some rumors. I don't know if you know it. Yes, I know, yes, yes, I know it. <laughs> you know it? Yeah. <laughs> so am I, am I speaking with both? No. <laughs> this is real Christy. Yeah, I'm Christy. Yeah. Prince Odinga's wife. Yeah. I'm feeling bad because everything depends now on me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need someone at least that can help me. Yeah. But all in all, yeah. I thank God I'm alive. I'm still alive yeah. for what you did for me. Yeah. What I can say, thank yeah. you. Now Prince Odinga has run out of lies. Run out of lies. This guy has scammed someone else. Many, many more people are coming forward to tell their story about what this guy, Prince Odinga from the Yamahansa village, from Villa Medellin, from, from Marwa's camp, one of Marwa's foot soldier, who uses Marwa's name every single day in his videos to get people to subscribe to him. And when these people subscribe to him and he realizes that they get close to him and they have a contact information, in their YouTube channel, he reaches out to them and then he scammed them out of thousands and thousands of dollars. And we're talking about people mostly from America. And as we all know, scamming is illegal. I don't care how many of you say that these people should know better than to send money to Africans. There is something called love bombing, and it doesn't have to be a romantic love connection. It could be just connecting with an old person to make that old person believe that you really care about them. It could be someone who, you know, has a son that passed away and they're just looking for someone to call them mom. And so this is what these guys are doing, calling these old ladies mom make them feel good you know like this is my son this could be my child so let me help them out and so they fabricate all these lies and tell these older women and have them send their last paycheck to them so apparently there is someone else who had come forward a while ago and sent information to you know JT and JT decided not to out Prince Odinga and I could tell from the way JT was um, You know kind of Trying to protect Prince Odinga or warn him I would just say he was trying to warn him and I'm assuming it's because He's a young guy JT is a young guy as well and he wouldn't want you know Prince Odinga to go to jail so he was sort of to me in my own opinion he was just trying to protect Prince, Prince Odinga from one guy to the next but Prince Odinga became extremely arrogant plus JT probably is the type who likes to do research so he says first before he put anything any information out there 
um, to the public because he doesn't want to be sued. So this person that sent this message to JT and is only coming forward now after you know several other people came forward to say that Prince Hodinga has scammed them and I guess this is enough confirmation to JT to say hey this is the truth this guy is a scammer let me also put this message out that was sent to me prior um, by this other person saying that Prince Odinga scammed the or tried to get money or lied to them about his dead wife and his dead child and tried to get them to send him a lot of money so let me get into this message from JT's channel big up to JT who broke this news today for all of us but I'm pretty sure that not you guys so a lot of you know a lot of you are subscribed to JT's channel so perhaps you already saw this information but there are people who are on my channel they're not subscribed to JT's channel so this is why I am bringing this forward okay and I am also living in America and most of these victims are in America and I want to spread the word so that we don't have more victims we don't have more people who get scammed by this Prince Odinga guy through using I am Marwa's name, through using I am Marwa's channel. Every single day he is on I am Marwa's um, lives and my I am Marwa giving this guy shout outs. So this is a close, close, close person to I am Marwa's camp. This is a reflection of what comes out of that camp and we all know that I already went into that in another um, video a few days ago so I will not go into that. I was waiting to hear Ayama will come out today and speak on it and say something about it but he did not. So yeah so according to JT someone sent him a message and this person said Prince Odinga tried to scam me. So you can see this is what they wrote me. They said Prince Odinga tried to scam me. This was on 4th of August. You can see the date. 4th of August, not today. Okay? Yes, August 4th this month. Okay? And let's see what else this person said. This person said, I am not a YouTuber and do not want to be as yet. I work two jobs at my age and just resting today since i'm off this weekend i will set up your whatsapp later i follow the link he prince has in his video this morning and i saw your laughing comment also the names including yours they want to report so apparently someone is trying to report all of us reactors and i am thinking the ringleader is sending out you know links telling people how to report channel go ahead and report us all you want reaction is allowed <laughs> if you report us we report you back and i think i know who the ringleader is you know the guy with the cord all always around his neck <laughs> mr huh, are you there i think it is him okay i think he's the ringleader who probably sent that email out Sorry, let me introduce myself. I'm a hardworking senior citizen living in the United States for almost 40 years. I am West Indian, meaning West Indian means he's from the Caribbean. Um, so he has been, this is an old person. If he has been working in the United States for 40 years, this is an old person. I genuinely wanted to give what little I have since his mother went and begged Marwa to help my son um, by, you know, holding his hands or whatever. And Marwa asked subscribers to help him. I genuinely wanted to give what little I have since his mother went to Marwa and asked Marwa to help him and Marwa subscribers help him during the party shout outs I happened to be at home sick and that's why I was watching the party one night so I guess he logged into you know Marwa's channel and he was watching the party and that's how you know he found out about this Prince Odinga because you know all of those guys are connected to Villa Medellin. I slowly withdrew my support to that crook Prince without saying a word. When he realized I was withdrawing I think he blocked me because I cannot read what he respond what he responds to comments and I don't think I can make comments. He doesn't know what I may type. 
since I never confronted him with what I know. Also, he sees that I am in Masubo's comments. I am a silent watcher listener to your channel and lots of others. I had even unsubbed from Prince, but I sub again to see the lies he's putting out. He wants to get rich in no time and off others' hard work. Prince Odinga wanted me to help him with a 75,000 plus Kenyan shillings because he claimed his pregnant wife got hit by a truck and that they had to rush her to Kisumu for treatment. I even contacted a YouTuber in Kisumu to meet them at the hospital. Prince mentioned to me, I guess he asked his friend to meet this Prince family at the hospital. This was December 29th. 2023 but it was already the 30th in kenya this was just four days after i spoke to him and his wife then he said when they were given her first aid she just died so this man spoke to prince and his wife four days before and four days later prince tried to scam this man to tell him that his wife died he sent me pictures even with the casket going in the ground. I spoke to her last week and told her, she said, no, I am not dead. He is on his channel saying he is not married. He, is, he introduced her to me as his wife. She was around eight months pregnant, plus his firstborn was about five years old. So Prince was on, you know, trying to lie to this uh, per woman, telling her, that his wife is dead but she some he somehow she somehow reached out to the wife and the wife said no i'm not dead and you know this woman say well your husband is on the line telling me that he, you are dead <laughs> and that he's not married oh my goodness then he said the little girl died of malaria so he also told her the little girl died of malaria he even sent pictures of a of a young kid lying in a casket and a lady standing over the casket he said that's his mom i saw his mom on my adventures so i knew that picture was not his mom <laughs> he's a scammer but he doesn't know to cover his tracks because sometimes people will know so this is how this person found out that this guy is a scammer and he is a liar oh my goodness this guy needs to go to jail for doing this. I have known about scammers. Even today, someone tried to scam me. Literally. If I had just clicked on that link, I would have been scammed. He got or um, he got or he claimed the friend in California to send thousands of dollars to buy the casket for his wife. I wonder how many people he tells his lies. So someone in California sent him money to buy a casket. Casket for what? This guy had no money, That the one that was dead. Oh my goodness. This guy is sick. This is the guy you are covering, Janet Harris, uh, and the rest of you. A big scammer that is doing this to a lot, a lot, a lot of hardworking older people just like yourself. Imagine and you are covering for him so anyway guys imagine this this man lied so much this guy lied so much to so many different people in america and people are coming out of the woodworks you know trying to warn others that prince odinga is scamming them and they need to be careful of this guy because he's going around using pictures um DEAD photos of other people or other grieving people and he's sending out the same text messages over and over and over to different people um, There were a lot more text messages in uh, in JT's Conversation, but I can't be bothered to read all of those We all know that a lot of people are affected and what most of us are trying to do is to just make sure that it doesn't continue to happen so we are spreading the word we're putting the word out there for everyone to be careful be careful be careful of these boys in kenya not just kenya be careful of of these boys in 
Africa. Be careful of these boys in Jamaica. And this is just not something that happens in one region. It can happen to anyone and it can affect people from, you know, any country, not just America or the UK or Canada. That's who it's going to affect. And mostly, I have a strong feeling that this is affecting Caribbean people. A lot of them are losing a lot of money to these guys because of lies every single time they're sick someone stole a phone someone lost a phone someone this someone that you know i had a friend who uh, you know he went to the dominican republic and he came back and he said to me oh i met this wonderful girl in the dr and her mother introduced her to me and you know the mother is so nice and i said how old is this girl he said 21 years old and i looked at him he's as big as a house and he's a much older man and i said her mother introduced you to a 20 her 21 year old daughter that's not her mother that's her pimp it's like oh no that's her mother okay i said wait i give it two days she's going to call you and she's going to tell you that she can't reach you when she wants to because she doesn't have a phone and lo and behold this that happened she called him and he sent her the he sent her a phone so they can keep in touch I said the following day she's going to call you and tell you that something is wrong with her grandmother. Lo and behold, the following day she called. The grandmother needs to go to the hospital, an emergency. He sent her money. I said by next week there will be another issue. Either there's going to be a death or someone will be hospitalized. <laughs> Lo and behold, the same thing. She called him and told him her appendix burst. And they're rushing her to the emergency room and she needs money <laughs> so he had to send money and that's when he realized he came to me and he said thank you she was she's about to clean me out you're absolutely right that was her pimp and this girl is not in love with me she doesn't care about me she just wants my money and she's lying I said well I'm glad you caught on before it's too late, before you clean your bank account out. So this is what is happening to these, uh, it happens to men and it happened to these older women as well. And you guys just have to be careful out there, man. Be careful out there, protect your money. You work hard, you work hard for your money, protect it. Don't just let it go easily like this. It's okay if you wanna give someone something, if you want to, but if someone constantly keep begging you, what I dislike is beggars. I hate, I hate people who beg. I do not like beggars. It drives me bananas. If someone, if I feel like giving you something, let me give you something. Don't beg me anything. Even my family, my family knows this, how much this annoys me. Even my own mother, she never, never asked me for anything, never. And I made sure that she was not in need of anything to ask anyone else because it would upset me if she asked anyone else for something. You know, so you just you have to you have to protect your money. Protect your money, man. These boys are healthy and these boys are strong. And you know, I'm going to show another video of Prince Odinga. <laughs> he ran out of lies now. <laughs> Prince Hodinga has run out of lies, okay? Everyone in his family is D-E-A-D -E now because he used up all his family names to get free money. So now since he has run out of people to use, he is now using himself. <laughs> this is Prince's new scam. He is using his own self <laughs> to get donations. <laughs> Here is the video. Take a look. <laughs> he has run out of people named to you. So Prince Odinga is now using his own name to scam people in America and Canada and the United Kingdom out of lots and lots of money to live a lavish lifestyle in Nairobi while he stand behind some rocks and pretend as if he is broke and he is poor and he lives in the slum. But Prince Odinga apparently is living a lavish lifestyle in Nairobi, Kenya, 
off the backs of old women in America and around the world. How pathetic. How pathetic is this little guy? Look at him. He pretends as if, oh, he is so young and he calls me old. But the guy had his hairline is receding to the back of his head. At any point, he's going to need a toupee. He has more wrinkles than me. I am trying to get those wrinkles that is in his forehead. But all each wrinkle is from each lie that he has been telling all his life. This guy has lied. He is a compulsive liar. He is a thief and a compulsive liar. And one of the biggest scammers that came out of Yabahanze Village and Villa Medellin Masterclass. So here is Prince Odinga acting out his D-E-A-T-H to scam people. Here it is, Prince Odinga, yes! And the award goes to Prince Odinga of the Yabahanze Village for his great acting skills. Thank you very much, guys. Men of God, speak to me. Off, I went outside. There is a family that is about to take a corpse to Yamahanze. He died in my hand. See the baby. <laughs> See this man. And uh, you, this is your brother. Yeah, this is my brother. Jesus. Jesus. Body is coming from the mortuary. Yes. Prince Odingo. He fooled those old ladies again. Raise your hands while I resurrect him from this situation. He paid me. He paid me. Tabasa. Rise up! Come on! I'm the biggest scammer. Not even a scammer. The biggest. I'm the biggest How they call them? Not even a scammer, the biggest. What is Come this? On! What is Never this? Woman. Never what seen this. Never yeah. seen this. Sasso Kappa say he loves Church of God. Maya who's a get a total. Look what's happening. Mandere Bosch. Proverbs we used to use while we were in, in high school, in primary school. Yeah. There is a saying is uh, shocked like the shocked like electricity. That I was shocked like uh, I don't know shocked like electricity. You can't even open up and see that this something which is scriptured. Eh, 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 my lord, this something which is scriptured. This something which is scriptured. This something which is scriptured. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed that video. <laughs> it was funny, wasn't it? Don't be offended, okay? But it was just humor. 
have a sense of humor. <laughs> That's what it's about here. We're going to laugh about it. You know, it pisses me off. So I have to laugh about it too. So anyway, now there is word coming out that Prince best friend is now out in him because I guess this guy has morals and values. His parents raised him right. You know, sometimes your parents raise you right and you can't stand by and watch someone scam old people, lie on their wife, lie on their child. So you have to come out and tell the truth. And his friend, who I know Prince is going to lie and say this is not his friend. This is another jealous guy from the village. Guys, we know this compulsive lying guy, Prince Odinga, is going to come out and say this. So apparently, Prince Odinga went to this guy, asked him, please, I want you to lie for me. Please tell him that my wife is dead. I'm not married and I don't have any children. And the guy said deep in his heart, as close as he is to Prince Odinga, he couldn't do it. So he needs to do the right thing and he is coming out to speak on it that Prince Odinga is lying. Yes, he has a child, he has a wife, and when his stillborn died, Prince Odinga did not attend the funeral, did not contribute anything. The woman had to struggle and she's a beautiful woman as you can see from Musubo's uh, video. She's a beautiful girl. Um, Prince Odinga didn't um, contributed, contributed anything, did not contribute anything to that woman so she could bury the child. And Prince Odinga collected a lot of money from subscribers using that dead baby name. He collected a lot of donations on the head of that child. Prince Odinga, you're going straight to hell, my boy. You're going straight to hell. So guys, listen to this um, video of this guy talking about it and tell me what you think, okay? Prince Odinga, you know you are my brother. We do many things with you. But when we come to the fact about family, about abandoning your a child, I can't support you, brother. Let me start. At the very, very first time you left home, you told me that you are leaving home because you want to come and do content in Nairobi. You left home. Yes, you left home. Time passed, time passed. You didn't do not even come home. Your wife gave birth, but unfortunately the baby died. You didn't even come for the burial. That is the worst of them all. Apart from that... No, 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 no. Before that, let's say before that, before the burial. You went ahead before, before you went to Nairobi, you said that you don't have a wife. You are lying. That was a big lie, a very, very big lie. That was a very, very big lie you did. Of all the things, you claiming that your wife is dead and your kid, that was the worst. That's not being money. Th that's not being a man. That's being a kid. Not even a kid can do that. Hmm? That is the worst one ever you've ever done. And uh, this thing of you um, coming here, doing much drama, we know things are shit happens. I'm not, I'm not here to judge you, brother. Whatever happened you between you and whoever uh, who wants you, you, you said, that, that uh, shit happens. But you don't have to say that you don't have a wife. If you don't have a wife, we know when you ha don't have a wife. So they, they, you don't need to lie. Say the truth. If someone loves you, they will love you for being with a wife or without having a wife. Why not stay with the truth? Another thing. You know, Prince Odinga, you came to me telling me that. Uh, yes, you can call me a snitch or something or what you want. But uh, let me tell you this. It's not good abandoning a family. You ca Then you come to me telling me that I do a video saying that... Uh, uh, saying that uh, 
saying uh, you you telling me that I do a video saying that you are not married. You are married. Yes, you are married. If ne, even if you are not a married right now, you are married. You had a nurse, she left. Uh -huh. Then you got a second wife, you left her. The wife survived alone in the house. The wife survived alone until she decided to leave. You did the worst even you did the worst to her. She decided to leave. But even if even if she left, she left because you are not there. And you know it's not good for a woman to stay in the in a homestead where he, she is being rejected with a man. The uh, the family may look at her like uh, she's a reject or something. The lady saw that it's not good. She went away from that house to find some peace. Eh? And here you come saying that you don't have a wife. You come telling me that I do a video saying that uh, saying that you don't have a wife. That's not normal. That's not being a man. No. I can't do that even. I can't do that. I will never do that. Eh? I will never do that. Hmm? Now, and you saying that uh, you've never married better even if you could say that uh, uh you were married but you were divorced better of that instead of saying that you were married and uh, your wife died how that's bullshit even so brother i don't hate you you know you are my brother you know we talk much with you but that is not the right way we are here to correct each other okay? Even if we are doing content, at some time we correct each other. Eh? Eh. So for today, that is what I had. I had to give out that statement because it was hurting me so much. Leave your comments in the comments section. This is disgusting, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to beat this dead horse. We're going to talk about it. We're going to put the words out there on the streets that Prince Odinga is scamming a lot of people and people need to be careful to so let the world know that there is this guy from Yabahanze village. One of Ayamawa's students is scamming people. Ayamawa has not come out and said anything on it. They're still cheering him on. They're still pretending as if what he is doing is okay. They're still blaming the victims that are being scammed by these boys from the Yamahanse village. And grown women are not coming out to say, hey, this is wrong. Stop it. If someone wants to give you money willingly, let them give you money. But please do not lie. Do not lie to get money. Do not use um, people's dead pictures to get money. Do not use fake sympathy to get money from older people who are in America struggling to make ends meet. So yes, guys, just um, please watch the video and like my video. I may not get any monetization on this video because I have a casket and all of that and you know, but I don't care. That ten dollars could go to hell. I don't care if I'm not monetized on this. I'm just putting this information out there for everyone to see. Thank you for watching, and see you in my next video. Bye bye.